Now, in today's uh, poll countdown segment, let's just take a quick look at the top political developments from India at this hour. Starting off with the crucial ruling of the Supreme Court of India, in which it has rejected the State Bank of India's June 30th extension plea to furnish details of the electoral bonds. Now, the SBI basically has been directed to disclose the information by the close of business hours on Tuesday. The Election Commission has also been ordered to compile and publish the information on their website no later than 5 p.m. on the 15th of March. Now, this decision comes less than a month after a constitution bench of the Supreme Court, remember, directed the, SP, directed the SBI to submit details of electoral bonds purchased since the 12th of April 2019 to the Election Commission of India by the 6th of March. However, two days before the deadline, the bank filed an application seeking an extension till the 30th of June, citing the complexity of decoding and compiling data from the sale of these bonds. The central election cell of the Bharatiya Janata Party, meanwhile, is holding a key meeting to finalize its second list of candidates for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Prime Minister Modi and the BJP President JP Nadda, along with other top leaders of the party, are attending the meet at the party headquarters in New Delhi. Candidates for some more Lok Sabha seats are likely to be finalized at the meeting. And according to party sources, the BJP released the first list of 195 candidates for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls on the 2nd of March. And the party is expected to finalize the names of over 150 candidates in the ongoing meeting. <laughs> On the other hand, the central election panel of the Congress concluded its meeting to discuss the party's second list. Top leaders, including the party chief Malikarjun Kharge, were in, in attendance. And after the meeting, the Madhya Pradesh Congress president Jitendra Patwari said around 70% of the Madhya Pradesh tickets have been approved, adding that the list will be announced by the party soon. On Friday, the Indian National Congress released its first list of 39 names ahead of the discussion on the party list. Uh, the second list, the party's Uttar Pradesh wing had asked the central election cell to nominate a member of the Gandhi family from Amethi and Raibareli. And in Andhra Pradesh, a crucial meeting of the Telugu Desam Party, the Janasena Party, and the Beach and the Bharatiya Janata Party is underway to discuss seat sharing for the upcoming Lok Sabha and State Assembly elections. At the meeting of the three parties, discussions will also be held on the rally of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, scheduled to be held in Andhra Pradesh on the 17th of March. The meeting is taking place at the TDP Supremo Chandra Babu Naidu's residence in Vijayawada. The parties announced their alliance, remember, on the 9th of March. The state has 25 Lok Sabha and 175 Assembly seats. The BJP has no seats in either of them at the moment. And moving further south, in Tamil Nadu, BJP's former ally AIDMK has submitted a wish list of 15 seats to the central ruling party. The AIDMK leader, Openi Selvam, is known to have submitted the list to the BJP. The state party is looking to forge an alliance what with the BJP for the 2024 polls. Central Chennai, Tanjavur, Teruchi Salem, Coimbatore, Namakkal are among the seats the constituencies identified uh, by the Pani Selvam group. The BJP has no seats in Tamil Nadu of its own. The AIADMK could also win only one out of the state's 39 seats in 2019. The BJP is trying hard to open its tally in Tamil Nadu this time, with Prime Minister Modi holding back-to-back -back public gatherings in the state. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.